All right, you're here to learn how to use Tailspire as a player. Uh, when I say player, I mean uh, someone who's just here to play a character in uh, whatever TTRPG you're using Tailspire for. Um, so your game master should already have assigned you a mini. Um, right now I have a little jester mini right here, um, and you can see it on the board right here. Um, so yeah, let's talk about character uh, kind of movement and how to move your camera and all that stuff. Um, so your camera center is uh, defined by this little circle that you can see. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it up a little bit, this little white circle here. Um, so that's where the center of your camera is. Um, you can use the scroll wheel to go farther or closer to the uh, center of your camera. Uh, and then you can move the center of your camera in two different ways. To move it vertically, use this little line on the right side of the screen, uh, and you can drag the white pip either up or down to move your camera up or down vertically. Um, and then you can click and drag with your right click uh, to move the camera horizontally. There's a bunch of other different ways to move the camera horizontally too. Um, you can click on any character token over here. Uh, other players will have other kind of character tokens and you can teleport to them if you want. Um, you can click your own and then teleport back to your own mini. It'll move your camera, you know, horizontally and vertically if needed. Um, and you can also uh, double right click anywhere on the screen and it'll move your camera right over there. Um, this also changes the cut box if you have the cut box kind of untoggled. Um, so if you right click something like this, uh, it might change the cut box. See how that jumped right over there? Uh, and the cut box basically determines when you're zoomed in uh, what kind of stuff is cut away so that you can see into the center. Um, I, I highly recommend, unless your DM has told you otherwise, to just you know drag this cut box up and lock it in place uh, really high up. Um, but yeah, so that's how you move your camera and everything. Uh, and then, you know, the cut box, I would move it uh, kind of manually. So like, let's say you want to see inside this house over here, you can move the cut box down, kind of zoom in, and then uh, you can see what's inside this house. It looks like someone's sleeping in there. Um, and then move it back up and the props will reappear uh, depending on how, how high up you move the cut box. Um, there's also a cut box uh, over here. Uh, this is a different kind of cut box. It's uh, kind of next to the camera and cuts away uh, certain types of props that could uh, obscure your vision, but I find it to be kind of glitchy. You see how that bed's just chilling there. Um, so I would always toggle this off. Um, you can tell it's off when there's not that orange light there. Um, so yeah, that's how you move your camera. Let's go back over to the mini and talk about moving your mini. So uh, you can move your mini just by clicking and dragging, normal left click and drag. Um, and uh, you can also move the mini by using your arrow keys. Uh, by the way, the WADS keys uh, are used for removing your camera. Um, so you can kind of slowly move your camera around with those. Uh, but yeah, back to your mini. Uh, when you move your mini, sometimes there will be a measurement showing how far you go. Uh, your DM can set up uh, exactly you know, how far a tile is and in what different units. Some DMs will leave them just as one tile or two tiles in this case. Uh, I like to put mine in feet since I'm using it for D&D. Uh, you can turn on this kind of measuring stick to see how far your character is moving by going down here or pressing M uh, and then uh, toggling this uh, little portrait over here. You can also just hit the four key uh, and that will toggle that. Uh, so now you can see that there is a measuring uh, kind of tool. And then uh, when I toggle that off, you can see there's no measuring tool. Uh, so yeah, I would always leave that toggled on personally. Uh, if you want to move your mini uh, kind of vertically, sometimes your mini will kind of skip up small uh, kind of differences in verticality, uh, but it won't skip up very tall kind of differences in verticality. Um, so if I go to this gate over here, it'll just kind of remain on the floor. I can kind of press it up, but a better way to move your uh, mini vertically is by pressing control. Um, so you can move your uh, mini around, and then as soon as you hold control, it's going to start going up vertically. Um, so I can move it over this gate here and onto the other side. Uh, you can also hit shift and hold before you touch your mini. Uh, and then touch them, and uh, you'll see you can teleport them around. So regardless of anything between one spot and the other, they'll just teleport right over there. I'm not sure if that's a DM-only feature, but 
Uh, it's certainly your, something your DM can do. Uh, speaking of things your DM can do, uh, they can also use marker blocks. So if you want your DM to, you know, if you got lost on the map or something, or you want them to show you a particular area, you can say, hey, teleport me over to where everyone else is. They can place a marker block and then do fetch all players, and your camera will be moved right over to that marker block. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for kind of character movement. Uh, each time you step, you'll step one tile, which is five feet in this game because of the measurement system. Uh, and that's pretty much how you do uh, mini movement. You saw me rotate the camera there, by the way. That's done by uh, holding down your scroll wheel on your mouse. Uh, some other stuff you can do as far as uh, kind of interacting with Telspire, you can press space to bring up the... Uh, the menus. The menus as a character will be a little bit less uh, burdensome than this, uh, but you can also kind of click dice here and roll those. Um, so if your GM asks you to, you know, roll an attack roll and you have a plus five to hit, you'll roll a d20, add five to that, uh, and that's going to be a 17. Uh, your GM might have Beyond the Spire installed, and that can, you know, give you dice when you click on your D&D Beyond sheet. Uh, and you can roll those straight from Tailspire. It'll just, as soon as you click on your D&D Beyond sheet, wherever you want to click, it'll bring the dice over and you can drag those out and roll them pretty much automatically. Um, the last thing you, that you want to do is interact with the environment. Uh, so if you right click on stuff, uh, not, the, not the double right click to move your camera, just a single right click on something, um, you can see uh, how you can interact with it. So I can open this door over here. Uh, you can also attack people. Um, so say I want to attack this poor uh, guard over here, uh, I can right click and then hit attacks, uh, and I can either do a magic missile, which is this fun little spiral over there, or I can do just a normal kind of melee attack, uh, and well, uh, maybe we can see something better in the sunlight over here, uh, and you can see that many kind of get shoved off to the side. So yeah, that's how to move your character token, that's how to uh, move your uh, camera, and how to interact with your environment. The last thing I want to cover is the measurement system. So if you hit M or click this over here, you can toggle a bunch of rulers. Then you can hit uh, this cone, this line, or this sphere, which is one, two, and three on your keyboard. Um, the line's really useful for, you know, telling your basic distance from something. And again, you can hit control and then uh, bring this uh, point kind of up or down. Uh, you can also do the sphere right over here. Uh, again, hit control to bring it up or down. Uh, you click and uh, drag outwards for the sphere, and then you can click again to kind of set it, um, and then you can right click to have that sphere disappear. Um, same kind of thing with the line. You click once, uh, you can drag it ever, whenever, wherever you want, uh, and then click again to kind of set it. That will uh, bring out another line, uh, and then you can click there to set it again as many times as you want. As soon as you right click, it'll kind of separate you from the measurement, uh, and then you can right click again to uh, dismiss it. Um, and then there's the cone, which is pretty cool. Uh, you dr click once and then drag outwards, that'll move horizontally. You can again hit control and then move this one uh, vertically as well. Um, and then uh, as soon as you get to where you want to go, say I want to cast some kind of 50 foot cone spell right here, you can click once and then you can control the angle of the cone. Uh, for D&D, all cones are going to be a 45 degree angle, um, so you can drag out to there, click again, and then that's your cone. Uh, and then again, you can right click to dismiss. All, all measurements are kind of right clicking to dismiss. Um, so yeah, that's how you use Tailspire.